So tonight I'm going to talk about a little bit of my background, where I grew up, and just the basics. Still getting used to this whole talking into the camera thing, which is kind of weird, even though it seems like I could talk forever and to pretty much anybody because I'm kind of an open book, but it is kind of weird not talking to someone and getting a response back, but anyways. So, I was raised by my dad, and I have an older brother and an older sister, and uh, my parents divorced when I was three, and I saw my mom as much as I could. I would, when I did see her, I would see her, um, sometimes we would go to her house, other times we would, most of the times I think I would see her at my grandparents' home. Um, which, when my brother and sister were in school and I was the youngest of the three of us and my dad would work, I would go over to my grandma and grandpa's, so my mom's parents, so I spent a lot of time over there, so I was the closest to them. Um, and, uh, so, you know, I saw her when she would, like, come in and they owned a company and, uh, Actually, both sides of my, both sides of my, my family, my dad's side and my mom's side, both sides owned a, a company. So I would see her as much as possible. But at the young age of um, eighteen, she uh, started having a drug and alcohol addiction problem, um, and I won't get too much into that just because I don't really know all the details. Um, all I know is hearsay or what I I know, and it's not really something that I think that needs to be really thought about. I think that um, later I'll talk about how I coped with that as far as, like, talking to my mom about it and um, how I came to a point in my life where I thought that I needed to finally talk to her about it, and I did talk to her about it, but I didn't uh, dwell on it too much as far as... Um, like, it didn't affect, like, me being gay or anything like that. I think sometimes people have this notion that if you didn't grow up with a dad, then you were going to become gay, or you had more of a tendency that you could be gay, or if you didn't have your mom around, then you could be gay because you're missing that motherly figure, but I'm telling you, that's not true. It's just simply not true. Not in my story. Not in my case. Um, so grew up in a, a fairly small town, um, just west of this, uh, Minneapolis, St. Paul, um, in a town called Buffalo, Minnesota, and, uh, graduated in 93. Um, I didn't, I don't think I really had any big issues in high school. Uh, seemed to get along with everybody. Um, seemed like a pretty normal, you know, I mean, don't we all go through the normal ups and downs of crap in high school? I think so. <laughs> um, um, I did my fair share of stuff, but um, I never really got into the partying scene, and I never really got really deep into any of, I don't know, I was always really, really afraid of, like, letting my dad down or something like that. Um, but anyway, so, uh, so that's a little bit of my background, and, um, I guess other things about my background, I guess, don't really have a whole lot to do with what I really, what the whole point of this whole thing is going to be, is, you know, talking about when I realized that I had feelings uh, for the uh, uh, same sex and when I came out and then going back um, in my mind and realizing um, everything that I had put like behind and um, and just things that you know you do I mean, generations now that have gone by and kids that 
you know, we have so many, we have so many tools out there now that, you know, kids can get help for and, and there's these things that we can reach out to and stuff, but I think that people need to share their stories and people need to get it out there and, and stuff. So, um, so I, I was right around 14 when I, when I realized I definitely had feelings like towards, uh, some friends or some, or I would like, um, I just knew like, I knew that I liked my girlfriends a lot more than I did, um, my male friends. Um, I didn't really think about it that much. I didn't analyze it. Uh, I didn't really think too much about it at the time. I dated like normal, like all my other friends did. I went to proms. I, you know, did the whole dating scene. Um, I, I didn't really think much about it. Um, but I knew at the age 14, I, I know I knew at the age 14, um, that I liked, that I liked women, that there was something different about me. Um, but it wasn't really, it wasn't something that I focused on. It wasn't something that I really put a lot of emphasis on because it just wasn't, wasn't really something that I should sit there and go, oh, I should focus on this and it's okay to focus on this because at the time it's not something that you get to really talk about. So, you know, so that's kind of that part. So that gets to us to that part. So I'm going to stop it there because that's kind of to the point where that's where I kind of started realizing it. And I graduated high school and went on to college. Um, and that's where I am going to stop this. And then my next video will be when I talk about meeting my uh, longtime boyfriend who turns in to be my husband, ex-husband, and we have three kids, which is really where the biggest story lies um, because that was a, a relationship that lasted um, 10, 13 years. So, uh, okay. So bye for now. And I will post more later and hopefully the more comfortable I get with this and the more I kind of understand like how to get my thoughts down and process and like talk, like I'm just talking to somebody else on the phone. Um, this will all kind of come out more flowing and you guys will under kind of follow it and understand it and and whatever, but, um, okay, that's it for now. We'll see you guys later. Bye.